everyone and welcome back to Cities Skylines and welcome back to the Flow City Project. Yeah, where the roads flow across the map uh, in a very organic city design. And yeah, today I'd like to finally build the entrance over here. As you can see, this is yeah, it's still pretty messy, doesn't look good, everything is, yeah, just temporarily. This is something I want to change today. But yeah, before, uh, let's have a look into the park menu. As you can see, I'm working on the icons. So yeah, I'm started to add, yeah, this is a little test icon. Uh, I started to add icons to my assets, but... Uh, yeah, holy Moses. This will take a while. Um, uh, at the moment, I just updated the parking lots. This already took me, I don't know, with together with creating these icons and all this, uh, probably two or three hours or even more because, uh, well, these icons uh, do only work for assets. Uh, like parks and and roads and that stuff um, Just uh, with a workaround so uh, Basically you have to add the icon to a invisible uh, 3d model and then you uh, Need to import this to the game and then build the the park asset around this so that means of course, I have to rebuild all of my assets, so that's the reason why this takes so long. So, yeah, I hope you have a bit patience. I I know it's it's very annoying to have these random icons. So this is the reason why I definitely want to upgrade or update all of my assets. But yeah, like I said. This will take a while, probably one or two weeks, you know, I, I don't have that much time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was talking about the entrance situation here, and as you can see, we have several roads and our two freeways, freeway lanes, uh, intersecting each other over here, or at the moment they do not intersect or there's no not really interchange and this is something I need to change and this yeah this will be not very easy because we have so many roads over here and I think I have an idea I have a sketch again um, this is going to be a super crazy roundabout interchange over here. Hopefully this will work. Um, yeah, before we are going to start, let's pause the game. Because, uh, yeah, I will remove everything here now. All roads, also these power lines. Because what I'm gonna do at first now is to add yeah let's remove all these power lines is to add the roundabout between these two freeways so and for this I need to remove this road because we need the space and this one so the roundabout will be here between these two freeway parts. Maybe I need to extend this bridge here a bit, a bit later. So, yeah, basically my idea is that all of these roads here will intersect with the roundabout and from the roundabout you can reach uh, every other road. So yeah, this is there. There's another solution. I tried this. I would explain this as a, a super complicated, super uh, super stack <laughs> interchange. So with with many different road levels, but I think this will not look good in the end. I think a roundabout could could look pretty pretty clean. So at first we need to figure out where we should put the sander. 
of the roundabout. I think here we here we gotta need some adjustments. Uh, I think this curve will not work. Uh, yeah, the center. The center. It should be. Let's, let's, build, let's build a curvy road from here. Because, uh, basically, no. Uh, yeah, I, I was, I think it's like, hmm, decisions. Um, I, I need to mark the center. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try just over here. In the middle between these two roads. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Let's start. Should we build this with a with a three lane or four lane highway? Is it three or four? It's three, right? <laughs> so yeah, I think makes sense because most of the traffic will will use the roundabout itself. I think I will do several cuts over this episode because this will take a while. Probably I need to rebuild a couple of things. Um, let's give it a try. I'm thinking about probably I should build the circle. Oh, why is it straight? Maybe I should build the circle. Yeah, I should build the circle in the asset menu or with the asset tool because there you can build stuff pr very precisely because of the grid. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, I will go to this tool now and when I'm there, I will be back. All right, I'm back and we are inside of the asset editor and uh, instead of the freeway tool, I'm going to use the road tool because uh, it's a bit easier to build a circle with the road tool because we have these zoning guides and they are a great help. Uh, let me demonstrate this. Uh, I will start over here with the road and we want to build a circle so yeah of course we going to take the curved road tool and we are we are gonna do the first click over here right at the first zoning guide i, I will move the mouse so you can probably see this gray line uh gray like the grid so it's a bit hard to see so we are going to do the first click over here let's rotate the camera and then we are going to click on the next zone guide. So let's move the camera so you can see it. It's right over here. So now we have our first quarter of our circle. All right, and we simply continue with this. This is so far the, the only technique I know how to build a circle. The problem with this is it's it's not 100% perfect as you may can see. The circle have a, a different yeah, the curve is a bit different over here to yeah, it's a bit steeper here than there. So it's it's not really 100% perfect, but I think it's it's okay for the thing we want to do. And now I'd like to update this whole thing or upgrade to the freeway perfect so hopefully we okay i think i, I built this in the right uh, direction so now we have a nice circle and the good thing is now we can go back into the city and move the whole circle around this will make it a lot easier for us to figure out the right place for this. All right. Okay, we are back in Flow City. 
And yeah, our circle should be located here inside of the row tool intersections and there it is. So and yeah, the size look good. I think this could work. And oh yeah, can you see this? Yeah, when I rotate this circle, you can see how imperfect this thing actually is. So yeah, I think this is a good location over here. Yeah, let's just give it, let's give it, let's just give it a try. Sorry. Uh, let's put this thing down here. And what we're gonna do is, uh, we want to build a freeway connection. Let's take the highway ramp. So, I need to take a look on my sketch. Hmm. Yeah, let's start with the road connection first. So basically, basically the idea is to put something like this. Something simple. This way and this way coming from here. And it should intersect with the road under the bridge. And of course, yeah, the angle is not good. Let's just try... Ooh. Yeah, this seems to work. Yeah, let's... Let's... Let's just try a bit around down here. Sorry. Something is wrong today. <laughs> uh, okay. And the next thing is... Oh, this is unfortunate. I need to change this curve here a bit, probably. But only probably. Oh, uh, yeah, let's pause the game. Because I, I removed the city entrance. <laughs> so, this is... Uh, this could cause potential problems down here. Uh, yeah. I expected this. Let's remove that. I will just quickly connect everything here. I just want to know how this is going to look. It's not very clean in, at the moment. This is something we can fix later. So, and from here, I just like to start from the ground. Yeah. This is something I sawed. Yeah, it's it's too close. Can we just start over here? With the curvy road tool. Something like this. Oh yeah, this looks interesting. So, and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to know if I have enough space here for all of this. Uh, this needs to be, yeah, let's put, no, let's put this, this direction because I can change this. All right. So, now the interesting part. Now the interesting part is, uh, I'd like to build a off-ramp from here that overpass the freeway and connects to the circle right over there. Let's see. Oh, not upgrading. Not upgrading. Curvy road tool. Something parallel. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, too many intersecting roads. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This seems to work. Oh. 
And now back to this. And the same thing over there. But from here... Yeah, let's put this the other way. Because it's easier. Over here... It should start on the ground. Oh, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Uh, can we pass this... This bridge? Okay, let's just remove this because we... I think it's easier. If we are going to build this first. Yeah. Let's over try to overpass this whole thing. This is going to be the difficult part over there. So here we are going to connect this over there to this part. And we're going to pull something similar. Yeah, it's not very clean the thing that I'm that I built here, but yeah, like I said, I, I just want uh, want to know if we have enough space for this. And I actually connect this not at the right place. Yeah, probably we should build this this way. Yeah. But I think it should work. I think it should work. The circle should be large enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks good so far. And this should meet there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I need to uh, I need to fix that, but I think It's 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 a not very clean construction at the moment, but I think it should give you a idea what I'm going to do and I think I think this is going to work And, of course, I connected the wrong side. Ooh. So... Yeah, it's important now to know if the circle is large enough, because if I need to rebuild this... Uh, I want to... Yeah. Well, yeah, this is basically the idea. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to rebuild this, to refine everything, to build everything a bit cleaner. And yeah, when this is done, I will be back. All right. Uh, yeah, actually, I started to mess around with the road tool again and I think I found probably another interesting way how to connect these roads with the central roundabout looks pretty interesting so far very promising 
And yeah, I guess I will give it a try. Uh, basically, what I did, I will show you over here. Uh, we need to connect this road here anyway. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna build a connection. What type of road we have there? This one. Three lanes. Yeah, I think this is good if we connect this over here. This side is a bit easier because here the... Yeah, we need to overpass this freeway here anyway. Probably we could give a curvy road a try. Yeah, that's good. And now we are going to add a, a ramp with this tool. Let's try to keep it strain, uh, straight, sorry. What we need to do is we need to cut off a piece of the road. Because, yeah, because uh, with this connection now, it's it's very difficult to build this curve. Okay, actually yeah, it works. Over there I had a bit... Uh, I had some trouble. Uh, if we remove this, we can build a much sharper curve. Alright. Let's remove this over here as well. Yeah. I guess probably... Oh, let's change the direction. Uh, I had the trouble over here because uh, of the slope. As you can see, let's close this too. As you can see, the level of this road is slightly lower than the level of the central freeway. Here it is a bit more obvious. So I guess uh, I, I was not able to build a, these, these connections very sharp because, or these curves, because of the slope here. So, and here we don't have the slope because this elevated part is a lot longer. So, this is going to work. And, yeah, this looks quite interesting. And what I want to do now is I want to build the connections to the freeway. And this is going to be difficult because I consider to build the connection to the freeway on the inside of the circle. This is because of, yeah, of the nature how traffic works in this game. Uh, one problem with traffic is uh, cars tend to stay, uh, or not tend to stay, they try to get on the lane that, yeah, will lead to the exit they want to uh, they want to take. So in a roundabout, you have the problem if you always have right exits or exits from the right lane, uh, cars will stay on this lane. So, uh, yeah, the problem is in that case that this makes no sense to have a three lane freeway over here because cars will only use this lane because we have all off on and off ramps on the right side. How it is actually in real life, so uh, especially in, in in Europe. So I guess it's not everywhere on, on the world. So to bring a bit more variety into this circle, I consider to add the connections to the freeway on the inner side, so on the left lane. So, yeah, that would mean if a car comes from here and want to take the exit to this freeway, it will change the lane or switch to the left lane. So, yeah, traffic will be spread a bit more around inside of the circle, probably. So, yeah, let's give it a try. I have no idea. Uh, I will, I will... Yeah, let's remove this. Makes no sense over there. I, I will do... I will try this now. Uh, if I... 
run into trouble i will do another break oh we should not connect this over here because this is probably the connection to this yeah let's go over here let's try to go to the ground level oh, wait a second traffic flows this way Yes, this, let's get, go, let's go straight to the ground. And let's put the curve, oh, this is not, probably not that nice. But... Yeah, this is the way it should work, right? Oh. No, this wish will not work because the traffic flows this direction and this is a freaking sharp curve. So this will, of course, not work. So let's try to build this. Yeah, smoother. What we need, we need a very wide curve. Hmm. Something like that. Yum. All right. Uh, over here. Yeah, let's just quickly build this. And when I'm done, I will... Uh try to make this a bit more <laughs> precisely off camera but yeah actually yeah this is this is how it could work so the other road should connect over here go down to the ground and then whoa no we need to overpass this probably yeah I guess something like that Oh, wait a second. Yeah, this freeway goes this way. Uh, probably. Probably. Yeah, I have no idea. This, yeah, I, I will try around a bit off camera uh, to figure out a nice way how to connect these freeways to the inner part of the circle. This is going to be not very easy, as you have seen. And yeah, I guess then this episode will be over, but until then, I will be back. All right, and we are back. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the probably most dangerous <laughs> interchange in the world. Look at this. Whoa, this can only work in a computer game. Uh, but yeah, beside this, <laughs> uh, actually, it do it does the thing it's supposed to be do as you can see traffic is spraying around inside of this roundabout so uh i think this was not a bad decision oh here's a traffic jam ah it's that intersection down there but yeah beside that this is especially look at this how these cars <laughs> Uh, yeah, doing their crazy maneuvers over there. <laughs> this is pretty fun to watch. But yeah, uh, beside this, it looks it looks interesting. It's something something different, and I think this is a nice variety that we have here: overpassing off ramps and here underpassing off ramps. And yeah, so finally, I would say this is the entrance to the city. Uh, I will add a few more parks here inside of this area, but basically that's it. Finally, we cleaned up the mess here at the entrance of the city. And yeah, I hope you like this little inter interchange construction. Took me a very long time to build this. 
for you. This episode is about 31 minutes long. For me, it was like two hours. <laughs> so, yeah. But now, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.